this movie is about uh, David Gigante's character. He plays Michael. He's getting married, and his best friend, who is Richard, played by myself, um, he's kind of got a problem. <laughs> what? It turns out that um, the one friend, Richard, is actually a killer. Let me guess. Kate's pissed. He's been killing for years, and uh, they actually met in kindergarten, and they've had a long history together. And uh, ever since then, they've been very good friends. There was always something weird about Richard. Six A, take one. Action. Why do I always have to do this part? You know touching this sort of thing creeps me out. My character in the film is Michael, and he is Richard's best friend. Action! Richard, gotta go. Richard, I'm in here. He has all this stuff that he has to keep inside, you know, and keep secret from his wife and from everybody, just to, you know, stay really good friends with Richard. Action. I thought you'd be happy. Can why in God's name would I be happy with that, Richard? Richard? It's just candy! I'm not talking about candy, jackass! And, you know, it's taken a lot of toll on him, and finally, by the end, he's just so stressed out and exhausted from what he had to do to, you know, maintain a friendship. Man, that's what you do for best friends. It's crazy what you'll do. <laughs> Um, I play the bride, Kate, um, maiden name Kate Anderson, um, marrying Michael Turner, soon to be Kate Turner. Um, yeah, that's my role. Action. So I woke up this morning and there's this giant zit right under my nose, but my makeup artist, she's so amazing, and you can't even see it. Look, you can't even see it. It's amazing. Kate? <sighs> I'm so happy that you're my maid of honor. I think on Sunday when I shoot is going to be... It's going to be a rough one. I'm going to be in this big dress all day. Eating lunch is probably going to be a difficult task. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. I look forward to it. <clears throat> Step into a slim gym. <laughs> I just thought it was ironic. I play, uh, she's a bridezilla, but she's really just a perfectionist, and this is her dream, like, wedding, and everything must go right, because she's a perfectionist, and she kind of goes a little ape shit in the film. <laughs> I want you to get my fucking fiancé on that phone, or so help me, I will replace you with my cousin so fast it'll make your head spin. Nothing is going to stop me from getting married today. Not even that ass bag, Richard. Is that understood, Rachel? Is it? Well, what are you two staring at? This fucking dress won't fluff itself. I play Rachel. She is uh, Kate's maid of honor. If I ever have the idea of planning a party again, please hit me over the head with something very, very hard. And she and Michael are trying to get this entire situation under control. Action. Michael! The wedding starts in less than two hours. Kate's gonna freak out if the best man isn't here soon. Left five messages on his cell. He probably just lost track of time. It gets worse and worse, and... Finally, she's... <laughs> she decides to just... Relax. <laughs> Action. Where have you guys been? The wedding starts in less than 10 minutes. <gasps> I should go. I should go. <laughs> Are you drunk?
That was a big thing on day two when I got my actress drunk. Yeah, they don't teach that one. That's a, they discourage you, in fact. Well, you know, in her defense, Jen's a great actress, but um, she was always having some problems with the drunk scene. Um, I, which just wasn't working, you know. Hi. <laughs> Sneaky. Smart enough. The night before we shot, we were all having drinks, and um, I gave her some Bosnian hooch, some fire water, moonshine from Bosnia. I look over at Jess, the production designer, and we kind of had this look, and I said, Jen, um, do you know your lines right now? Well, sure I know my lines. I'm an actress. I said, okay, well, give me your lines. And she shot them all out, and... Sounded great. I looked at the, I looked at, uh, looked at Nate, looked at Jess, and we were all kind of like nodding our heads and decided the next day that she was going to get drunk to shoot that scene. Well, one of those is a light. Over there. <laughs> Jenna. I am technically the bride's cousin, so I'm a bridesmaid. I told him, I told him not to go, but Richard called and said he wanted to meet with him before the ceremony. You don't think that he would leave me at the altar, do you? Oh, no, sweetie, it's nothing like that. He's going to be back any minute with Richard, I'm sure. Um, seriously, the sound guys, Alabama Jones seriously. Dance I didn't lessons. even need a mic, and he was just like all shoving stuff down my dress, and it was for nothing. Sure, he was just using the sure feel, it was a sound guy? I feel a little confused. <laughs> Might not have been a sound guy. Yeah. Sweet. So you saw the whole... Oh, yeah. Uh, good. <laughs> oh, good. Solid. Every time, a good high five. Put on that camera. You guys can't pay me enough to work in this frickin' rain. If I tell them that I don't need it, they're gonna fucking punch me. Oh no. I'm gonna have to try to frame it in. Uh, pan it. Turn it. Go a little higher. Go up a little higher. think it was ever in the film not a, looking back no I don't think it ever was it's funny though but it was not in the film did you wake up stupid this morning <laughs> that's the tape where we're at yeah I know